And the quest to give out nourishment has begun. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But please, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Duck, how about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Coach does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Tis it was, tis it was. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. Here, eat something. We got you now. Wow, thanks a lot. That's, that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? 
Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. <laughs> I need to keep my strength up too. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Can he? Can he? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. <laughs> I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? you point blank was he bitten and you said no he wasn't well your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife what wait you all don't know what the hell are you talking about it's not the bite that does it you come back no matter how you die if you don't destroy the brain that's just what happens it's gonna happen to all of us It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Lady, relax. 
bikes. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. One second, everyone. I just moved over here again like I did last time. My back's starting to hurt me. So next video.